do is just look directly at the camera and say, CC, I'm CC Bellis. Okay. That's all you're going to say. So whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm CC Bellis. Cool. Um, so we're going to go back a little bit. Okay. And I want you to kind of start at the beginning and take me back to the first time you started to feel pain in your arm. And oh, we're going way back here. Yeah, all right. how you assess the pain in your arm when that happened. Okay. Yeah, like, do you want the whole timeline or, or sure. okay, yeah, that'd be through great. all the surgeries? Why not? Let's okay, let's that. just yeah. start it. This okay. is going to be like five minutes. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. And I'm actually little... trying to think of when the first time I had pain is. Hold on. It was like a year before I actually had my first surgery. Yeah, okay, I got it. So I started feeling pain in my wrist a year before I actually even got a surgery. It was in um, April of 2017. And then I played through that whole year until uh, the pain was too much for me to handle. It was first diagnosed as tendonitis, so I was able to play through that a little bit. And then it got to the point where um, I wanted to get you know, more scans on it and see if it was anything serious. So I got scans on it finally and was actually told that nothing was wrong with my wrist at first uh, by a couple, or actually just one doctor. And then I went to go see a wrist specialist and he told me that I had three tears in my wrist and my bone was too long and it was causing the tears so he told me that I was gonna have to shorten the bone and then also repair the tears so I went into the first surgery in July and he just repaired the tears and didn't uh, shorten my bone or anything because he didn't uh, think that that was gonna be too much of an issue he just wanted to see if the tears um, being repaired would you know feel fine for me and I wouldn't have any problems after that but I did I was feeling a lot of pain in my elbow as well. I started to feel my elbow in February of last year. And I actually, at a tournament, I felt it crack on a serve. Like I remember the exact serve and uh, I felt like my elbow cracked. And so I actually got a scan on my elbow and uh, they found that there were two bone spurs in my elbow and they were both fractured. So I had to get a surgery um, that year in September to get the bone spurs removed. And so I rehabbed everything, you know, got back. And when I was hitting again, I was still having a lot of pain in my wrist. My elbow felt fine, but I was having a lot of pain in my wrist. And, you know, I tried to push through it as much as I could, but I got to the point where, um, you know, something was still wrong. And so I got another scan of my wrist, and it turned out that my bone was causing a lot of impaction in my wrist, so it was actually too long. And I did end up needing the bone uh, shortening surgery. So in November of last year, uh, they cut my bone in half, uh, right where my, in the middle of my forearm and shortened it there and then put a plate in to attach the bones back together. And, uh, you know, that obviously took a while. I was in a cast for a while. And then rehab that and start hitting again. I was still having pain in my wrist. And at this point I was like, wow, this is pretty crazy to me. And I didn't think that I was ever gonna, you know, be pain free. And uh, I was getting a lot of swelling around where the plate was. And uh, I would hit, you know, even short court for a few minutes and then for four or five days after, I would have so much swelling that I couldn't even move my wrist. And because the plate was so large in my arm, it was you know, too big for my arm and it was uh, causing a lot of swelling. And so I got another scan on my wrist and it showed like so much inflammation around the plate and there was you know, so much that it was doing wrong to my arm. So I had to get the plate removed. And then at that point, my bone was still broken and I couldn't hit quite yet because everything was still healing. And so I was doing rehab and doing a lot of fitness. I was doing fitness this whole time, um, trying to you know, get in really good shape and be super strong when I came back. And then when I finally came back, uh, I was still having pain from my bone being broken. It was still fractured even uh, up until this summer. And you know, I did what I could, tried to not push it to where I was having really horrible pain, but you know, I would definitely push through as much as I could because I knew it was still healing and it you know, wasn't technically getting worse. And uh, there were, at the end, uh, there was only a few shots that was hurting it um, up until maybe August. And it was more like quick reaction shots that would hurt it because the bone just wasn't strong enough to handle that yet. So I tried to stick away from those. And then um, since then, I've just had a little bit of tendonitis in my elbow and that's pretty much gone away now. So I'm, I'm smooth sailing at this point. Uh, initially, what was the conversation like with yourself like on a day-to-day -day basis as you were learning about your injury? As I was learning about my injury, I was pretty positive going into the first surgery because I thought that was going to be the only one that I was going to have. So, and actually, you know, before each one, I thought that was going to be the last one that I had. So I was pretty positive, like going into each one, knowing that I was going to be fine afterwards, even though I ended up not being. Um, can you walk us through a little bit of the days leading up to the first surgery? Like, yeah. What were you thinking? 
Uh, a few days before the first surgery, um, I was pretty nervous. I'd never had a surgery before in my life and never had an injury really. Uh, that was obviously the severe, so I was really nervous. And actually, before each surgery, I was extremely, extremely nervous. And even before the last one, I, I couldn't eat for like a week before. I got so sick because I wasn't sleeping because I was so nervous. So it was pretty tough. So surgery's done, rehab seems to be going great. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start feeling good on the court again? Uh, everything started to feel good on court pretty recently. I uh, had a pretty scary moment about a month or a month and a half ago where um, I went to go make sure that my elbow was okay since I had been still feeling a little bit of, of tendonitis in my elbow since I had come back, which was pretty normal since I hadn't played in a while, but I wanted to make sure that that was it. And I went to a doctor that told me I was never gonna play tennis again, ever. And so that was super fun. And then I uh, didn't listen to him and got three other opinions that told me I was fine. So I went with those. <laughs> when you hear something like that, like again, what, what goes through your head after everything that you've been through? Sorry, my hair is like. Um, <laughs> the wind picked up a little bit. Yeah. I was super disappointed and really distraught after you know that doctor told me that I wasn't going to be able to play again after all this time that and everything that I had been through, um, you know, 18 months of, of surgeries and rehab, and then after I finally got through everything, I thought I was going to be okay. Then he told me that was the point that I was never going to be able to play again. So that was definitely really tough. What level of mental toughness have you developed over the past? I think I've developed a lot of mental toughness and a lot of patience uh, within the last 18 months. I think I've, you know, obviously been through a lot and it's, um, you know, I've gotten through it and I think I'm stronger that I've gotten through it. Was there anything you were surprised by or you missed from being away from tour when you stepped back on tour? Um, I mean, I missed competing so much and it was so tough for me to, uh, you know, be practicing here for so long and just having a couple things like, you know, my elbow holding me back for, um, you know, the last four or five months but um, yeah I just I miss competing so much it was pretty funny I forgot a lot of things about the tour like you know little warm-up things that I had done before that you know I didn't even remember until right before I played my first match so it was great. How have your expectations about your career changed? Are you more motivated now after coming back from this? Yeah I'm definitely more motivated now um, you know ready to get back out there it's been so long so you know I've really missed it and I'm definitely ready to go. Um, taking a step back like what has this whole situation taught you this has taught me a lot of patience and uh, you know having to become super mentally strong stronger than I was before and yeah just a lot of little lessons along the way for sure um, okay two more what does tennis mean to you is, it, is this a different answer than what it would have been two years ago it definitely uh, it's a different answer than it would have been two years ago I think it really hit me when uh, recently, about a month and a half ago, when I was told I wasn't going to be able to play again. It really hit me at that point because I'd come so far and I was so close to being at a tournament. And uh, just having that, you know, possibly taken away from me was the worst thing I, you know, could have ever heard. So it obviously meant so much to me before, but just times 100 now. Cool. Um, and then the last one, uh, what are your goals for 2020? And then where do you see yourself in five years? I guess that's too far to but... Uh, my goals for 2020 are starting off um, healthy and obviously ending healthy, but um, you know, making sure that my body's ready for Australia and uh, that it can hold up in matches. Um, you know, obviously do as well as I can and try and climb up the rankings again. That's going to be a big goal of mine. Um, and honestly, just enjoy it. You know, I've been away for so long, and I'm so excited to get back out there. I think in five years, I want to be, you know, obviously at. Um, probably the peak of my career and and you know hopefully getting even better um, as high ranking wise as I can possibly be and you know hopefully going really far in slams and uh, getting some titles under my belt. Cool. That's all I got. Awesome. It was awesome watching you hit earlier. Oh thank you. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>